Alrighty, so we're messing around on stream. Felt like streaming today, so if you want to come by and hang out on the stream next time, you know, feel free to subscribe, all that good stuff. But uh, I just kind of wanted to mess around with Gother a little bit more. I do have his costumes at this point. I bought those last night after the stream, so he's looking pretty good. He has a 74k CC. Um, obviously, we're playing ungeared, but, you know, th so the CC's not necessarily going to matter with the costumes. Or, well, I mean, it, it matters, but his gear is obviously inflating the CC quite a bit. Uh, we're going to use Purgatory Melee just because... Somebody suggested it, and I thought, thought it sounded kind of fun, so we'll see how it goes, but um, I don't know. could be kind of fun. Valentine's DM with Purgatory Melly, uh, Gother, Merlin in the back. Hmm, that could be kind of cool. I, I did really enjoy using the Valentine's Day DM, actually. Okay, we have Goddess Team. I'm assuming he does not have the Mael Relic yet. Yeah, he does not. Uh, all right. Okay, we got the Gother uh, windscreen. Very cool. Alright, interesting. Alrighty. Low CC Gelda team. Um, hmm. This is interesting. Let's go... Maybe with something like this? The... The... The, 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 the Assault Melee is kind of scary. Because Gelda does pretty well with the Assault Melee. I guess I should I should probably lead with um, Gother's card since it's probably going to do the least amount of damage. Which this melee doesn't have like a rank up. Ooh, we could go for like a really big level three though potentially. That could be kind of fun. Hmm, I'm interested. He's probably going to do some decent damage here though. Luckily, melee will cleanse. Hmm. We shall see. Alright, so we're infected. Ooh. I think he's dead. He's probably going to single target me with Gelda. Oh, I live that. Let's go! I wonder... Oh, he's got the... Mm. I almost want to go... For the basic stat increase. But this will cleanse us off anyway. Um, let's use the AoE because I'm interested to see how it turns out for us. Not 100% sure on this though. Rank reinforcement. Ooh. Okay, we kill the melee. Ah, he targeted the... The DK. I'm kind of surprised he doesn't have, whatchamacallit, Tarmiel Link on his um, his Gelda. If it would have went for Gelda, we would have killed, but it went for DK, and now he's popped stats. I should have targeted, I guess. Mm, unfortunate. Which I targeted Melee, thinking that we weren't going to kill him because he had the, the buffs from Nana Shion. Probably dead now, if I had to guess. Okay, we tanked that. We have the damage reduction and everything from the Merlin in the back, plus the max HP is probably maxed out on Gother. I have never seen DK do such little damage to a character like this. Like, we have this maxed out, right? Or, well, it doesn't tell you. Okay. Uh, let's go big rank up. Um... I guess I'm going to use the AoE and try to make sure we kill Gelda here. This is kind of working, though. I could have went for another level 3 AoE. Oh, this is huge. We kill Nanashi off. So we lose. he loses the buffs and the basic stats and stuff like that for Gelda. I mean, she was going to die because of the little HP she had anyway. We now have ultimate... He, I mean, he does have stats and everything. I'm glad he didn't pull his ultimate. That would have been really bad. But actually, mm, depending on what level it was, we could have potentially cleansed it off. But hey, that actually didn't go too bad. That was actually kind of cool. Okay, we have another Gelda team. We do out CC. Um, let's go. F Ooh, we're gonna we're gonna put a lot of debuffs on. He has a level two melee card in hand as well. Uh. I'm a little scared, 
We'll see how it goes, though. Don't make me actually want to pull Gother. I mean, you know, he. if you want to use the Sins team, he's a good character. But I think that he's not crazy enough to where you can, you can still get away with using the other teams in the meta. And I think he'll be okay. Because, like, he's not he's not going to be countering Arthur. Um, you know, Gelda is pretty much the, the biggest counter to Arthur as far as I'm concerned. But, uh, I mean, he is making your team do, like, more damage and stuff in general with their cards. So, there's, you know, there's... He, he's, he's a good support character. He's just not, like, over-the-top crazy by any stretch of the imagination. Um... He's got the he's got the all creation here, which is really scary. I really want to try for the uh, I really want to try for the big AOE. I'm gonna go for it. It's it's a bad idea. Like I'm, I'm potentially throwing right here. More than likely, I am because I don't think we're gonna kill his melee. Ooh. Good, it's good damage, don't get me wrong. The Nanashi buffs helped him a lot there. And he has real good cards in hand. And his he's pop stats. There was no way I was killing DK there. So that is definitely a, a big, big part of the problem. Both of the melee and... Dude, why are we tanking so crazy with him? It's, it's insane. Um... Whatchamacallit, the, uh, DK and Melee both cleanse there, so we got, they, we lost a lot of debuffs on the enemy team, which is unfortunate. Oh, no. Well, he's gonna pull one ultimate or the other, so that's bad. Actually, I wonder if we can kill DK and lower ult gauge. On Melly. Because he has uh, Tarmia Link on Gelda, I think. Okay. Good kill there. Lower the ult gauge so he doesn't pull his ultimate there. He is going to cleanse off two debuffs. I do have another Bond combo. I can potentially rank it up as well. Bond's low, though. I think he's going to be able to kill my Bon off here, though, and I'm going to be screwed. Oof. Yeah, I don't think we live that. That's all right. That's a good game. It was, you know, it was working a little bit. I definitely shouldn't have went for that level 3 Perg Melee card, though. I think we get a collab next banner or something else random. Uh, I think it's either going to be the next banner or the banner after the... The festival ends, if I had to guess. Okay. Let's try to kill the Estorosa here, if possible. Because if we can get rid of Estorosa, we can stop some of the basic stat increase. And if we can kill a character turn one, it would be very beneficial for us to uh, only have melee cleanse off two orbs instead of three. I don't think that kills. Ah. Uh, melee just barely not doing enough damage there. Um, we don't get any crazy, like, level 3 potential here, unfortunately. I could go for, like, a Bond combo. I don't know. I mean, we could rank up, if he double attacks me, which he will, because he only has attack cards with this team. Um, I can maybe use the AoE to kill off the... Estorosa. And then slap somebody with a single target, I don't know. It might be better for me to go for a Bond card to rank up Gother, maybe? Ah, uh, that all creation is kind of scary. We can do this to lower his crit chance. Let's see how this works out for us. Okay, so we kill Estorosa there. He loses his basic stats and stacks. He already has some debuffs on, so he won't cleanse off this Mark of Concentration. Uh, hmm. Okay, we merge into a level 2 rank up, which is really big for us. 
If he triple attacks here, which I assume he will, we'll be able to get a level 3 single target with melee. That could be kind of big. Hmm. Which we could go for the level 3 bond combo as well. And going for bond. Not doing a whole lot of damage because of the damage reduction we have going for us. Ooh, we're tanking. Okay, so we now have true magic. Actual true magic. I'm really bad to call it <laughs> all creation true magic. Um, See, she's going to have so much HP, I don't know if we bond combo here or if we go for the melee card. I really want to use the melee card, so I guess we'll try it. And then I'm, I'm going to try to snipe without Mark of Concentration. I doubt it's going to be as good, though. Which, if it's a level 3, we do lower crit defense, crit resistance, so maybe we can crit. Ooh, good damage. Not enough to kill, unfortunately. But maybe Bond can wipe up. Ooh, okay, one crit. Not the best, but hey, you know, a crit is a crit. Would have been nice to use that on him while he had uh, Mark of Concentration on. I might actually be able to see Gother's ultimate here. I have not seen his ultimate yet. Unless he just goes for, like, a big attack on him, though. Uh, we do have some ult removals if he tries to get his ultimate here. Um, but just depends on if Gother survives. He does not. Okay. I was kind of figuring that was going to be the case. We have a level 3 bond card, which could be good. I don't have ult removal, though, at this point. Hmm. I think we just go all in, because if I don't kill him, I'm pretty sure we're going to lose. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I think that's more than enough to kill. Unfortunately, this last card is going to hit Nanashi, and Nanashi has his buffs on, so we're not going to pull our ultimate. But we win. Okay. Not bad, not bad. We're kind of chilling. All right. Okay, Valentine's Day Deanne. I like that. I like that a lot. I don't have a way to stance cancel, but I do have Margaret Link on melee. I wonder if I can do a good amount of damage. I maybe should have used the AOE with melee actually, because I don't think the uh, I don't think the single target's the right call here. Ooh, could we kill? Come on, melee! No, melee is so close to getting a turn one kill, but he just cannot secure. It's so unfortunate. True Awaken Perg Melee video next. I don't I don't think there's a real good point in True Awakening him at the moment. Plus, I'm, I don't have anywhere near the amount of Demon Crystal. Well, I could probably open the boxes to get the Demon Crystals if I really wanted them. Or the Demon Memory Crystals or whatever they're called. But I'm, uh, I'm really close to an unknown. I'm not sure if I want to give it to Gother or Gelda or if I want to give it to Albedo. I'm kind of on the fence with my unknown one at the moment. Okay, I think with the level 2, we can probably kill Gother, get some good damage out on the Deanne, and maybe we just go ahead and hit with the Bond as well. I think we can kill Gother here. I'm hoping so. So there's rank reinforcement, rank enhancement. Yeah, more than enough to kill the Gother off. Very nice. Melly's going to get all creation here, unfortunately. Nice little chunk of damage, nothing crazy. But we can potentially go for a level 3 snipe on her next turn. So that could be kind of nice. So, it's going to swap back over. He's going to cleanse. Merlin comes down out of the back line. Another insta merge on a level 2 rank up is nice. Uh, he has some pretty good cards in his hand, though. Which we've been tanking with this team, but Deanne is the only one with debuffs on, so Merlin's not maxing out her passive, I don't think. I can't remember how many debuffs you need for that. Oh. The fact, I mean, he's dead. But the fact that he was able to tank that level 3 single target, actually kind of insane. Okay, puts up his shield. I think we're chilling, though. I mean, hey, he died, unfortunately, but that was still pretty impressive, I have to say. 
So I think we go with something like this. Get rid of the ultimate, kill the Dian. Haha. <laughs> Basic stat increase, because this is a level three. Big snipe. Show me the show me the numbers. 619, not bad at all. And I think that was with her having Does she have her crit defense on? I can't remember. Nice nice damage there. I mean, everybody hates on his his damage, but he's a support. And for that damage from a support character, not that bad. Okay, we pull the ultimate. Can I get it off, though, is the question. If I could, that'd be awesome. I would like to see it. Uh, I don't have a bond combo, unfortunately. Not sure how this is going to go. Puts Dissolve on, not a huge deal. Single targets me. Doesn't have all creation, so we tank that. Gains a stack and gains all creation, though. Okay. Let me see this Pulverize. I, can, I actually skill disable as well. So maybe it's better to hit with this first to put a debuff on so he doesn't cleanse off my skill disable. And then... He won't draw his ultimate anyway, unless we kill Merlin here. Might not be a great idea. Actually, I think we I think we kill him anyway, so I think we're fine. What's going on, Abby? Let me see the ultimate damage here. 2-6. I mean, you know, that wasn't good, but it's it's a supporty ultimate as well. It's not gonna do that big a damage. It disables at level two, which is kind of what you're using it for. So I really can't say too much about it. I don't know. It it was actually kind of cool. Using Pergmeli again was fun. It's it you know Pergmeli is definitely a little dated at this point. He if he would have been able to kill with his single target on some of those units turn one, it would have I, it would have actually impressed me and I would have actually been like kind of on board with it. But I don't necessarily think that it was the greatest option, but um, pretty fun nonetheless. So that's pretty much it for the YouTube video. We're gonna still stream and everything, but uh, if you want to come by and hang out with us on the stream next time, like I said, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, thanks for watching. I will see you guys later on.